you know, this is your equation. What do you think that is? They'll say, well, I think it's probably around 10,000, which is kind of a conservative number compared to Carl Sagan, about a few million. I think Isaac Asimov thought of it as two-thirds of a million. You know, if it's anywhere between 1,000 and, well, some bigger number, if it's more than 1,000, then that means that the nearest aliens are within on the order of 1,000 light years. That's far if you're trying to drive it in your Honda, but it isn't so far for a radio telescope. If that's the case, then our experiments should find a signal within the next 20 years. So uh, that's my bet. But on the other hand, we're not going to know the answer until we know the answer. You know, the aliens haven't sent us a fact telling us where on the dial they might broadcast. We've not combed enough the galactic real estate yet. Uh, but, you know, if they're really advanced, then they should have been able by now to maybe colonize big chunks of the galaxy. Who knows? They should have been able to spread around. They should have, you know, remote trans transmitters. They should be very easy to find. Boy, maybe some of them are shy. Maybe most of them are shy. But if only one society has a powerful transmitter out there, then we have a chance of success. I think the reason we haven't found them yet is that we have to look very carefully at that. I don't expect that we are going to understand any of these messages, even to the point of being able to sort of break them up into this. We don't worry about the message when we do our study experiments. We're just trying to determine is a transmitter or not.